Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for October 6th, brought to you today by editorial researcher Nina Whittle. Today's First Word Farmer News Roundup is sponsored by INC Research. In our top news story, Bristol Myers Squibb agreed to pay a fine of $14.6 million to settle claims that it violated the U.S. Foreign Corrupt Practices Act. The company's joint venture in China was accused of providing cash payments to healthcare providers at state-owned and state-controlled hospitals in an effort to boost prescription drug sales. Also featured, Arena Pharmaceuticals co-founder Jack Leaf has stepped down as CEO and president of the company at the request of the board of directors. The drug maker said that director Harry Hickson will serve as interim CEO and interim principal financial officer while a search for a permanent replacement will begin. In other news, the FDA approved Alkermes, a typical antipsychotic Aristata, for the treatment of schizophrenia. The company noted that the product has once-monthly and six-week dosing options for delivering and maintaining therapeutic levels of medication in the body through an injection. In addition, the FDA granted priority review to Bristol-Myers Squibb's filings seeking approval of the NS5A replication complex inhibitor Daclinza. The applications are for the treatment of patients with chronic hepatitis C co-infected with HIV, patients with advanced cirrhosis, and for patients with post-liver transplant recurrence of HCV. And finally, final survival data showed that Roche's Cotelic in combination with Zelbaraf helped certain patients with advanced melanoma live significantly longer compared to Zelbaraf alone. The Phase 3 Cobrim study included people with previously untreated BRAF V600 mutation-positive advanced melanoma. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. 